yes. Indeed. Yes. Here we are, Soldier's Peak. Maker's breath, look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. I wasn't lost, it's just that the map got soggy. Bah, we're here. So, I'll follow you about, from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Looks like it's seen better. There's more up ahead. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hole up like cowards. We follow the king's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. How is that possible? This place truly is haunted. The Vale? Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you.
men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Averna. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving. And my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Not much is known of King Arland. The war of succession that followed his death, now that was a piece of work. Lasted nearly a decade, and almost burned Denerim and the palace to the ground. Loads of history was lost. But maybe there's answers to that inside. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. I knew it would be easy.
door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? Another one. Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. We could only hope. Make them pay for every inch, men! Ah! Hold the flank! Avernus, we need you! Nelartep, Obrusel, Sivan, Nechtepan. Andraste's blood! What? More Avernus! Whatever it takes! Maybe a Ben Press them! Press them now! No! I command you, fight the king's men! Oh, so much death, suffering, and oh yes, blood. The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus. Acolytes, retreat now. The battle is lost. Avernus! What just happened? Oh no, more fighting. Beware, these creatures can be unpredictable.
The warden summoned demons. Can't believe it. And my grandmother, she knew. I believed that my family was better than that. But answers may lay up ahead. Back again? Beware, these creatures can be unpredictable. As you said. Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Because this peak is mine. This one is the Dryden, Commander, Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. that or she's really let herself go my great great grandmother is dead i don't know what that is this one has tasted her memories seen her thoughts and hidden places but she is food for this one no more no less making deals with demons now are we i must say the crows have misjudged wardens you are more cunning and ruthless than we suspected. Uh, carry on. Do not let me get in the way. Your crow is wise. This one will explain the deal. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons. No more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. This one knows all, but will only talk after the tower lies broken. Then you are a fool! More thorns as well! It will be done.
can't believe my great great grandmother was still alive. Well, sort of alive, sort of dead. I need a drink. I am afraid not. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration.
Even now the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? Only just. I have only a short time left. Why are you here? What is your intent? Hmm. An admirable goal. But in order to achieve this, the demons must be cut off forever. Agreed. This must be the first priority. The only priority. They were necessary. Any tool, any iota of information that could defeat the fell demons was justified. As a warden, you should know that. Necessary. Having to relieve yourself after an eight-hour ride is necessary. But there's no excuse for summoning demons. Mm. Charming. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic, but there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she, too, is no more. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. But, with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. And who draws this line of what is, say, proper or moral? The Chantry? Corrupt, mundane, pathetic little men? You? Embrace the core tenet of the Wardens, any means necessary to win. She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under Wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinta. Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages, to keep them docile. My only regret is that it failed, and that I never had a chance to make Arland pay. So be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. We must act quickly. The demons are clawing on the gates. The veil must be closed. I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Dispatch them. I will begin. First, I must summon the magical energies. I feel them. They're coming.
It's over. The veil is strong now. Stronger, at least. So what of me? Will you leave me to experiment in peace? Without test subjects, without other materials, you would cripple my efforts. But I will do what I can in this endeavor. I have little hope of discovering anything useful. But if I do, you will hear of it. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. That old geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. It is. In time, it might liven up, though. You're gathering an army, after all. A fortress may do some good with that. I might use the peak as a base of operations. So many bandits about, but none would dare come here. Nice place to store trade goods. You, of course, will get a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work.
sound this Dutch bond makes gives me the shivers. <laughs> Zamar has heard your call. We march for you, Ward. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his gift and turned it against his children. They shall be named Maleficar. The one who repents, who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world and roasts not, nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak, but takes delight in the Maker's law and creation. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the peas of the Maker's benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. The veal holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death. For the Maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her... There's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> me too. I wonder why nobody ever taught me her version of the chant when I was a Templar. Oh. Hello, dear. Can we help you? Um, what she means is... In Andraste's name, be welcome. Stop correcting me! What would Andraste do? That's what you should be concerned with, I say. Andraste was no fuss budget. Praying for the good people of Denerin who've lost loved ones at Ostagar. It's usual to recite a stanza from Transfiguration when you pray for the departed. It's usual to recite the stanza correctly what I said. Andraste, deliver us. If her grace would hear this. I wouldn't mess up the words if you wouldn't keep interrupting me. Grand Cleric Alamena understands the importance of concentration, you know. Her grace, may the maker bless her heart, lost her hearing 20 years ago. If she doesn't catch your blasphemous mistakes, it's because... 
because she didn't hear them. Tell you about the chart? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the Chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? It's the tenth stanza from the Transfigurations. Lovely canticle, that one. Oh, you should have heard Brother Cademan sing it, though. He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. Revered Mother Boanne, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the Maker couldn't fail to take note of us. It was tragic, really. Such a surprise. We don't speak of that. He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. It wasn't good for him, you see. He took off all his clothes in the middle of the chant one summer day and ran into the street. He tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine for the feast and drowned. We were six days drying him out for his cremation. He looked like a pickled egg. So tragic. Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin. Pride. Arrogance became a great caged beast in the lands of Tevinter, an emptiness that consumed all and could never be filled. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the Golden City, heart of all creation, to take the Maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during Chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the Chant of Light, not the Speech of Light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? See how you like being interrupted. Well, you get the general idea, I'm sure. Yes and no, dear. The official version of the chant does not speak of the elves. Some of the dissonant verses, however, do mention the disciple, Shartan. The chant has changed over time. Some of the verses that were sung in the past were taken out. The canticles of Shartan were stricken from the chant in the Glory Age. They are no longer sung, though scholars still sometimes read them. He was an elven disciple of the Prophet, a former slave like Andraste herself. He rallied his people against the Imperium. He was given to the flames alongside Our Lady. Divine Renata had the verses removed during the exalted march on the Dales. Of course. The official chant of light is written in Tevinter, but it is translated into the languages of the believers. Some ideas are lost in the process of translation and words take on unintended meanings. There's a dreadful pun in the Orlesian versions in the Canticle of Threnodies, and languages are always changing. The chant must adapt if it is to be understood by the people hearing it. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal. But know that the sun always rises. The deep dark before dawn's first. This light seems eternal. But know that the sun always rises. Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? Well-armed individuals that visit the rectory tend to be here for that. Chanter Rosamond is tireless and resolute in her duties. I'm sure you can find something of interest on her board. I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this Chantry. <laughs> and pride again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. 
A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlais, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. Of course, enjoy your visit to the Chantry. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one God. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. L let's just go. Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Yes, I think so. I'm sure of it, in fact. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. Do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's, and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth, and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. Ugh, for all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some elf to follow him about and carry his riches for him? Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well... So he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy? Except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But, brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. Then let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... let's go. 
I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Such as, the only person who ever cared about me was Duncan, and he's gone. I... thank you. I'm glad you came with me. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps? Roses can open any woman's heart, you know. Much of this city is still a mystery to me, but the markets is like my home. Circle and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Tedas in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chancellor's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though. They do put on many airs. I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? This Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Orlé has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier, and we departed shortly after. You know so little of Orlé here. The chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their service, they're allowed privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser board. A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome. Incensed, my brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here. Perhaps where you are from. But in human lands, things are sometimes not so clear. Many revere the Chevaliers for their skill, honor, and deeds. But others tread lightly. As lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch lightheaded. Be careful with that package, you lady slut. It's worth more than you'll make in ten years. 